Hey everybody, it's Engineering and Heels back here with another high heel review. This is another in my 130 millimeter series. So this is the Christian Louboutin Fetish 130. Um, this shoe has a really interesting, interesting backstory, so I'll kind of start there. It was um, kind of designed based on the aesthetic of an older fetish artist um, named John Willie, who liked to draw a lot of heels that had insane um, steepness to them and pitch and things that just looked like they would never exist in the real world. So Louboutin's designers took that um, inspiration and made this shoe, which is beautiful. They made the fetish in two different heights. Um, the fetish 130 was only available in a select few boutiques, so I had to special order this one from a boutique since you couldn't get it online. Um, at least I couldn't find it online and it's not like I have any near me. So that's what we did. I love it. I have a lot of thoughts on the shoe, so I hope you enjoy um, some of them. So let's just talk design a little bit, like what I like, what I don't like. One of the things I love is that I love ankle straps and I think these are a particularly sexy ankle strap. They have a really nice, um, like heavy buckle to them. It's got a very satisfying click when you buckle them and unbuckle them. Um, the other thing I love about this ankle strap in particular is that it's got a very soft piece of leather here that holds it onto the shoe. So that makes it a lot more forgiving to your ankles if you're someone like me that gets a lot of blisters and red marks from heels. So these don't blister me at all, which is fantastic. Um, I love that about them. Other than that, the calf leather all around is super supple. I really enjoy Louboutin's calf leather and it's, it's fairly easy to break in. Um, so I didn't have too much of an issue with break-in on these, which I'll talk about a little bit in a little bit when I talk about sizing. Let's also talk about the bow. This is kind of a polarizing um, part of this shoe. A lot of people don't like them. And I actually, when I bought this shoe, thought I would take the bow off because it was just a little bit too girly for me. And I just wasn't sure I liked that detail and wanted just more of a standard heel. But as soon as I got them, the bow's really grown on me. I think it looks especially good in black. These were also offered in nude, although I'm not sure if the 130 was offered in nude. It probably was, but I don't like the bow on the nudes because it doesn't match quite this exactly. So um, definitely another thing I really like about this shoe. It's also got a really cool kind of peep here so that you can see some of your toe cleavage, toe rings if you wear them, stuff like that. So I love that because you can always see that part, um, you know, that part of the foot. Uh, the other thing I like is the, the heel design. They call this their fetish heel. It's very slender. Um, and the other thing that you can see on this one that's so cool is that it kind of sits more under the center of the ball of your foot instead of all the way at the end. And you'll see this in like dancing shoes and stuff like that because it kind of gives you a little bit of a better center that's more comfortable. And I would say that that definitely um, is the case here. I think this is one of the most comfortable 130 millimeter heels that I own and I think some of that is because of the location of the heel here. And I brought up the hot chick too so that I could kind of compare for you guys what it looks like to have it all the way on the end of the heel, the ball of the heel here or whatever you would call that versus in the middle. So hopefully you can see that. If not, we'll overlay a picture too so that you can see it, but just kind of something um, to look at here. As you can see, I've already had these resold. Um, I usually wear through them pretty fast. Just kind of my standard Vibram sole. Love these, have not had to get it resold since. Um, and he did a really good job here making it look perfect. So love my toddler. Um, these need new heel tips again. I tend to wear through those pretty fast. Now, as far as sizing goes, let's talk about that. These were actually pretty true to size. Um, I thought I might have to size up in these, but I didn't. This is just the 39. And it actually wasn't terribly tight on my foot. Since there's like a lot of openness here in the middle, it gives you kind of um, more room for your foot to kind of move naturally and it's not as uncomfortable here in the toe box. So that's another great thing about this shoe. Um, one thing I don't especially like about these is that and you can see it here and you can see it in some of my pictures. The way that the heel is angled makes it look like it's almost bending in. And I've had people comment on this on Instagram. My heels have been this way since I got them. I don't think that they have bent anymore. It just is kind of a function of having that heel that curves in. But it's not something that I particularly like. And one of the reasons is it makes your heel tip wear super unevenly. So like I'm always wearing down the outer part of the tip, but not the inner part of the tip. So just something to be aware of if you purchase these. As far as walking around in them, they're actually a super comfortable 130 millimeter heel. I don't have problems in these at all. I mean, honestly, they're close to the comfort of a so cape for me, if you can call a so cape comfortable. So they're, 
easy to walk around in. They look super cute with a bunch of outfits, and I just, I love them. So definitely a unique shoe by Louboutin. I would definitely recommend them if you're looking for kind of a little bit of this fetish look um, while still being wearable. So definitely um, check out my Instagram if you haven't already at Engineering in Heels, and you can see me wear these and many other shoes. And I wanted to give a shout out, as I always do, to my fantastic patrons over on Patreon. You guys are awesome. You provide the support that I can use to then buy more shoes, do more videos, buy more equipment, and you guys are amazing. You also also want to shout out to all my patrons who give me ideas for videos and ideas for outfits because it's just super fun to chat with you. So just wanted to say check me out on Patreon if you have not. Check me out on Instagram and of course here on YouTube. Hope everybody has a good day. Thanks.